after we've just got to the Catrum open day here at Midlands, uh, Donington Park, it's the new um, Catrum showroom that's just opening and there's been a nice plurry of cars just turned up so let's have a quick look. Nice GT4 came in. Looks like an Alpina B5 is it? Yeah it sounds like a B5. So here at Donington, um, there's actually a lot of Formula E race teams here. So you can see Team Maguri there, Dragon Racing, um, China Racing, Andretti Formula E, uh, ABT, uh, Truly, little Audi R8, Venturi Formula E team here as well, uh, Renault E down in the back, and Mahindra Racing as well. The C63 Coupe, nice little GTR down there. 34 GTR SL55 and R8 popular the R8 at the minute Being the Catrum open day here at Midlands, it's obviously plenty of Catrums today. Nice little super sport down here. A couple of other cars. We've got Strictly Try Dancing, nice. And a Lotus uh, John Player Special Limited Edition Exige over here. And a GT4 Cayman again, also in the Shimiba. Type 72 Exige. <laughs> and now we have the showroom. 620S down here. So the Caterham 160 is a Suzuki powered. Caterham, um, pretty lightweight obviously thanks to the three cylinder Suzuki engine. Tiny little tyres um, to make it nice and fun because of the lack of power as, they, as most of people seem to be saying. Um, however other people are saying that they're actually pretty good out on circuit. It's got the plush leather seats in this one, nice and comfy. So the wallpaper down here actually seems to be composed of actual track day photos. So if you have a look at them, you'll see a bunch of cars actually on track days. That's pretty cool. All that at my home. That's pretty cool. Vegetarians look away now.
just did the drift experience. It was uh, pretty wet, pretty miserable. Um, did a couple of donuts extra than I was expecting. So there's a couple of Aventadors down here. Ten. Oh, that looks nice. Me sixty four bolt. It's like a B five Alpina. Yeah, it is. And a Cayman GT four. And then a four five eight Italia. Six twenty S going out for a test drive. Have a look at it. So when I was doing the drift bit and it was absolutely chucking it down with rain, snow and hail, it's like everyone else came out with their roof covers for the Caterham and uh, yeah, I don't have one on that. So uh, I'm going to be a bit wet. Let's go and have a, a quick gander, see how wet we are. So this is the um, Caterham 620R. And so you've still got the Tillit carbon fibre bucket seats by the look of it here. A bit of trim, tiny bit of suede on the bottom as well. And I'm not quite sure what this is down here. Um, that's not on mine. And neither is this big box up here. So I think that's just to hide the cables. So you've obviously got the sequential six speed gearbox, carbon fibre tunnel, um, nice carbon fibre dash. Love these switch gears. It's, um, it feels pretty nice. Um, Obviously the snap-off steering wheel, um, as most patrons now have. And yeah, the D roll cage on the 620R, as opposed to the 620S down there, which is um, obviously just has a FAA roll hoop. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty nice. It still bewilders me why they put the exhaust on the rear on the 620s rather than on the side like uh, most of the other patrons. So it's a little bit odd. Um, so still have the silencer down here, but then it just feeds down here and round through to the back. So 